Hi everyone, this is Mark, Chair of PA Pride. On behalf of our members, allies, and community, welcome to our flag raising. Danse from Treaty 6 Territory and the Métis homeland in Duck Lake. I'm here to honor the PA flag raising. What happens when we raise a flag? <clears throat> The symbols, the colors, they awaken us and remind us of who we are as a community. We stand at attention. We stand aware of what's around us and we connect to it. So I ask you now to stand now and connect to your being as I sing an honor song. Each one of you is a blessing from Creator and we need to stand and acknowledge the ancestors of this land and the sustenance we receive every day from these lands and waters. I also give thanks for the two spirit gifts as we stand in the middle to balance the circle of life. <clears throat> Hi, hi. Love you. Here at Calvary United Church, we strive to be an open and welcoming place of worship where everyone who gathers together hear the words, God is love. We are excited to once again join in Prince Albert's Pride celebrations. Happy Pride, everyone! Hello, everyone. I'm Alana Ross, your MLA for Prince Albert North Cove. It's my pleasure to join you here today on Treaty 6 territory, the ancestral and traditional territory of the Kuri, Dene, Blackfoot, Soto, Nakota Sioux, and the Métis people. On behalf of Joe Hargrave and myself, our constituents and our colleagues in the Government of Saskatchewan, I am delighted to say a few words and wish you all happy Pride. Thank you to Prince Albert Pride for the opportunity to participate via video message today. I want to extend my thanks to you and your work in highlighting the LGBTQ2S plus culture, history, achievements and struggles. It is important this history is recognized. Your efforts to educate and enlighten participants on sexual and gender diversity within our community and area is appreciated. I know personally the results of these efforts have positively impacted members of my family and friends in the LGBTQ2S plus community. It is encouraging to see so many individuals and organizations demonstrating leadership as allies, including local businesses and faith-based groups. You will find that growth is a word that our government uses a lot. We plan for economic and population growth, but there are other types of growth deserving of recognition and celebration such as diversity. It is a testimony to our province's motto, from many people's strength. We have come a long way, and while there is more work to do, I look forward to continuing that journey with each of you. Thank you all for all that you do to build a better, stronger, and more inclusive Saskatchewan for everyone. You are all loved. Thank you. You know, you can spell pride without PA, but why would you want to? Thank you, Prince Albert, for hoisting the pride flag, a symbol against hate and intolerance, a symbol against homophobia and transphobia, a symbol of love and acceptance. And we know we've got lots of work to do yet in our province to be the loving and accepting place we know we all want to be. Keep it up and happy pride, everyone. 
Have a great day, Prince Albert. Happy Pride, everyone. My name is Estelle Jurdis, and I'm the federal Liberal Party candidate for the next election. Celebrating Pride is very important to me. Many of my closest friends are LGBTQ, and I've traveled to places where homosexuality is a criminal offense, punishable by jail, and I was pretty brokenhearted hearing some of the things that people still believe, and to know that many of my friends wouldn't be safe traveling in those places because of their sexual orientation. For Pride Week, I want to highlight just a few points of legal history of LGBTQ rights in Canada. So in 1969, under Liberal Justice Minister Pierre Trudeau, a bill passed to decriminalize homosexuality. So that's when homosexuality ceased to be a criminal offense in Canada. And in 2005, a bill legalizing same-sex marriage became law. So it's now been 16 years since then. And it's crazy to think back to the great concerns that so many Canadians had about this, none of which have been shown to have any basis in reality, but they're still used to justify regressive laws around the world. That hasn't been the end. Under Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, we've made progress on trans rights, including adding gender identity and gender expression as prohibited grounds of discrimination under the Canadian Human Rights Act and allowing Canadians to choose to mark an X for their gender on Canadian passports. So the rights that we fought hard for should not be taken for granted, whether that's LGBTQ rights or women's rights or charter rights. We've come pretty far in the last 50 plus years and we have a lot to celebrate. But unfortunately, some politicians still use opposition to our rights to drive support for their political party, while most of us think the battles are already won. So complacency is not our friend. That brings me to the point. Politics matters, voting matters, politicians make law. They decide things like whether or not homosexuality is a crime and whether or not same-sex marriages are legal. And as we're debating right now, whether or not conversion therapy should be a criminal offense. I hope that everyone, and especially those celebrating Pride, takes that to heart and makes sure that they're voting and that they're informed about the positions of candidates and political parties on all of these issues. For my part, I'm proud that the Liberal Party of Canada has been supporting the LGBTQ community for the last 50 plus years, and I am absolutely committed to continuing this important work if I'm elected. Thank you. Have a great Pride. The Prince Albert Police Service is proud to take part in this year's Pride celebrations, and we join all of Prince Albert in giving thanks for the diverse community we have the honour of serving. fit in in high school. I was a brainiac where only jocks were cool. Sports, it wasn't that I didn't like sports, I just wasn't very good at them. I also stood out because I was tall, skinny, and lanky. I must have been an easy target for teasing right away. And I didn't make friends easily because I was so shy. Our high school choir won every competition they entered. They were truly amazing. Mostly girls, of course, but there were a few guys. The guys took a lot of teasing from the other guys in the school, but one of the guys I talked to said that he didn't mind all that much. I was already getting teased a fair bit, so I gave it a pass. I did join the volleyball team, though. Then one day my captain was introducing me to another team captain, and he said, he's a fag. Isn't he queer? And they laughed. They laughed. The teasing was getting worse because of volleyball, so I gave up on sports. Oh, you can be anybody you want to be. You can love whomever you will. You can travel any country where your heart leads and know that I will love you still. You can live by yourself. Choose one.